Uh, this is the second project in the Illustrator uh, introduction. This project is called Pencil to Can. We are creating a illustration, of course, of a pencil in the can using basic shapes in Illustrator. So when you get started with the Illustrator, you will need to make sure this is a workspace called the Workspaces. So you need to make sure it says Essentials Classic. And this is all the settings that we are going to use in this video here. Okay. So if you not seeing something that I'm showing you in the video, make sure that's selected. And also you want to make sure that where it says smart guys and snap to point is on. Okay. Make sure those two things are selected as well as essentials classics and go back to canvas and now show you how to get started here. So now I have the second illustrator assignment. So it's called pencil again, has some basic instructions there, but again, this is exactly um, what I'm showing you in the video is exactly well, this thing right here is exactly what I want you to turn in. It should look like this, just with your name instead of my name, okay? So it's got some basic instructions there. I'm actually going to go back to Illustrator. So you know you're going to click on the window icon and go back to Adobe Illustrator, okay? Which I already have open, okay? So I'm just going to click on the file and new. Uh, if it doesn't have recent, click on print, then click on letter, and you're going to change it to pencil. Change this to uh, inches, and then click create. It gives you a blank white uh, piece of paper here, but we're going to start with actually the rectangle tool is what we're going to start with. Okay. So if you click and drag, it's going to create a rectangle, which you don't want, backspace. So you want to click once, and it creates a dialog box, which you're going to type in this exact numbers. So you're going to type in 0.9972 and that for the height and delete that and I'm going to put 4.0598 as the exact numbers on mine. So that gives me the exact size of the pencil, the wooden pencil part. And now I'm going to create some different sides. I'm going to click on this path here. When you say path, drag it up and it creates the, the path size here. Okay. And I've got the different sides of the pencil. So now I'm going to create the eraser. So I can click and hold it down, grab the rounded rectangle tool. So if I begin the same thing, if I click that, it creates a rounded rectangle. I want to delete that, click once, and put in this exact settings. So I'm going to put in 1.2, and I'm going to go to my height, delete that, and then put in 1. Now for the corner radius, I need to put 0.1. .1. And I click OK. This exact size of the eraser that I want. So I click on just when you say path, and it's got the center, it shows me the center line right here. I've got now I can click again on the render rectangle tool. I'm holding my alt key and I'm zooming in a little bit so I can see that. Now just from the center here where it says center, hold the alt key down, grab those little cursors, those little handlebars that get around the cursor, and I click and drag out a little Run an external tool. Okay. Now selection tool, drag it down to about right there. It needs to intersect. Now I'm going to click on edit, a copy, and edit to paste in front. Now it's got two on the same, so I'm going to click on this top one and bring it down to here. Okay. Those black, blue lines actually, I mean, that purple lines, sorry, help me align everything right. Okay. Now I'm going to actually zoom out. And I'm going to click on, I'm going to actually create the point of the pencil. So I'm going to click on this and grab the polygon tool. So if I click and drag, it's going to create, it might show up like this uh, six sided object, but you're going to click on the down arrow key, down arrow key, or, you know, this actually creating the number size. So I went to three sided. I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to go from the center here, you say uh, intersect here. Click on that. Drag out triangle here, but now I'm gonna hold down the shift key and go from the point here, it's gonna drag it straight down to here. Yeah, so I've got my pencils up upside down, but I need to actually reflect it to turn it up. Click on the reflect tool, hold it down, grab the reflect tool. So I need to do hit the enter key and grab a horizontal reflect and click OK. So you got the horizontal reflect selection tool now, the black arrow tool. Now drag that line down to 
the bottom there, okay? Alt key and zoom out. So I'm gonna click on that triangle here. Edit, again, copy, paste. Paste in front, sorry. And now I can hold the shift key and grab this top square and drag that down so I'm creating a lead. Okay, the pencil lead. Zoom out. And they need to color them in now. So click on that. These are the same, these things are swatches up here. And it's the same thing as these. I'm going to use these up here. Okay. And I like this orange here. Click on that one. I'm going to create the same orange. Now for the eraser, there's not a swatch. The swatches are great because it grabs that exact color every single time. But I'm going to do like I did in Photoshop and actually choose a color. So I like uh, this little pink color here for the eraser tool. Um, these like metal bands um, on a pencil have the metal bands. So we're going to actually click on the library, go to gradients, metals, and we're actually going to use this one that's the tin color. And the second one, I do that same tin. Okay. Now this triangle for the point of the pencil, and I'm going to actually choose my own color there. So I like this uh, light yellow for the pencil light. And now this one, I'm going to use this, uh, not, not black, but just a little bit off. So I like that for my pencil lead. Now I need to actually put a name on my pencil. So I click on the text tool, grab the vertical type tool, click once, and type in my name, Mr. Okay, and then click on the selection tool again. Now I choose the size, maybe 18 is about the size I want. Now I can choose the font. If I know what font I want, just type it in. So I like orange, uh, orange juice. That's what I like. I like that. So I click on that and make sure it's in the middle. So it's in the purple line. It's in the middle there. Now I just click and drag them and create a uh, square that uh, contains everything. So it selects everything. Because if I just select one thing, it's going to move that one thing. I can undo that. So I want to select everything here, click and drag. Now I click on that and group it all. So now actually when I click on one thing, it's not gonna move that one object, it's gonna move the whole team. Okay. I'm gonna move that up here a little bit. So now I'm gonna create the can. So I'm gonna click on the ellipse tool, draw the little ellipse like this. I'm gonna go back to default. This is default, it's a black stroke with a white fill. Yeah, I'm going to copy and paste that in front, paste in front. So now I need to click on the selection tool, move that down here. I need to have the purple line so it's lined up perfectly. Now I click on the line segment tool. Okay, It needs to go from anchor point, click and drag. So if I click, I'm going to delete that. If I just click once, it's going to give me a dialog box. I want that. I want you to click angle point and click and drag down here to the second anchor point and I did it up here angle point click and drag to the anchor point okay now I click on the selection tool and I draw a window that selects everything now I need to click on the shape tool shape builder tool it's over here it looks like this now I need to click on the inside here and drag down here so now it creates a shape on that based on that selection tool again deselect everything Click on just the edge here, and I'm going to make the default to just be solid white. So this is nothing, and it's going to be solid white. So that needs to be filled in with the tin color right here. And now click on the top, and that needs to be filled in with like this dark color. Okay. The last thing I have to do is click on the text tool, you know, create some text, and type in my name. And then I click on the selection tool again and choose the size that I want. Maybe I make it 20, well, I'll make that like the 36. But this is all left justified, so I need to make it centered. So center justified. Now it's got the right font. I'm going to choose that and move it over to the middle where it needs to go. So now I can click on this since I've gripped it all together so I can rotate a little bit. This is like a pencil, it's in a can. Okay. Now, when I move that over here, it's not, it's, it's behind everything. You can see it's behind everything. 
But what I'm do now, I can close that now. I click on the layers tool and turn the arrow down so I can see the layers. So this is my pencil group. This is the top of my can, the outside of my can, and my, my text mixer case desk. Grab the pencil group and put it in between. So that way you can see it's now in between. It's like clicking the pencil again, and I can make sure it's kind of, you know, falling an angle there. If I'm going to click and drag everything, then it selects everything, and I can move it in the middle here. That's it. Okay, I'm going to actually click on view and then view hardboard and window so I can see it's all now in the middle here. So I click on file and save as now since it's complete and I actually can save it in my downloads folder and I can save it as pencil. I don't need to change the anything. So I click on save. Click on OK. Go back to canvas and start a new attempt to one. So click on upload and choose, and it would be in your ID folder, but mine's in my downloads folder here, pencil, and I click on open, and I click on submit. And that will finish this assignment. So you're gonna turn exactly what I'm showing you in the video. Okay, thanks.